Mabel Bemis. Mabel Bemis, you've got one hell of a nerve. Don't you ever come trying to borrow sugar from us again. You think I'd set foot on your property after reading this? That dog here starts barking and I'd get up. I'm, 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 I'm going to call the sheriff. My dog will bark any damn time he feels like it. We'll just see about that. Hey, um, Henry, oh, up. Winthrop, get out here. Wake up. Winthrop, come on out. Wake up. Henry, you look. Look here. Oh, God. It's idyllic. <laughs> what is this open area? It was old Coast Guard property. You know, it had a really fine wooden lighthouse here until it burned down last year. It's a magnificent place to build. They think so, too. Our planning commissioners. They voted to allow the new owners to put up 400 condominiums. The Condo 3, we call them. You mean this isn't Coast Guard land anymore? Oh, it never was. Before World War II, Wendell Gareth gave it to the Coast Guard with a perpetual lease. He died a few years back. And then after the fire last year, the property reverted to his daughter, Beverly. Oh, Beverly Gareth? The woman that had that terrible accident I heard about. Yes. Well, I guess you weren't too pleased about her selling. It was her land and her business. Last year, we managed to thwart a high-rise hotel. But I shudder to think what they have wrought this time. Good morning, Edna. I warn you once, Jessica Flesher. Stay away from my husband. God knows Charlie's not much, but he's all I've got. Edna, for heaven's sakes, what are you talking about? 